day three still, one o'clock in the afternoon, and we are heading up to Lingi Hut. Probably can't see it, but I can see it. No. On top of the skyline is a little square box, which is Lingi Hut Refuge, a free bobby. You can see, just walked out of that valley from Skidor, Ufostal, straight path, and now <laughs> seems to be uphill again. So uphill to the Linky Hut, get a trig point, and then off off the hills, as they say. So just to let you know. Physically, finding this bit hard for some reason, but then when you're on your own, you don't have the uh, motivation of other people. There we go, onwards and upwards. Wednesday, day four in the afternoon. You can see it, Carlisle ahead now. Around. That's the end of the lakes, and that's the last hill, High Pike. here because there's numerous paths, paths as the uh, guidebook map says, even the Ordnance Survey. I'm trying to find the right footpath that will bring me out of the farm. Did your head smack in the centre of the screen? Okay, after my miserable wet and spongy experience of walking from Keswick to Coldbeck across the uh, the last of the hills, I can just say, make sure you bring waterproofs. Well, I am now walking on a straight tarmac road all the way into the village of Coldbeck. Hopefully we'll find a campsite or we're pushing on to the woods. There you go, day four. And now it's all changed because it's all downhill and very smooth. Good morning, YouTube. Last day from uh, Coldbeck. Standing in this campsite. Going to have my morning coffee. Forgot to buy any food in the shop before I set off today. So, uh, pasta and salami sausages for breakfast, and uh, hopefully, I can pick something up on the way before I get to Carlisle. So, just myself and one other, and that's it. I'm four pounds for the night. So, good morning, day four. Four and a half or Thursday. Okay, Sebrahangham Bridge, mile 63, Thursday, seven o'clock. Done three miles this morning from Colbeck, and uh, we are on 73. As you can see, in a different world now. Lots of traffic, lots of movement. <laughs> Better get off the uh, road and back onto the footpath. If you can pronounce it better, Sebrahan Church. Okay, had a poor man's breakfast this morning because I forgot about breakfast in Coldbeck. Then walked uh, nine miles to Dalston, where there is a, not a cafe, but a 
cob shop that sells bread rolls and anything that you want in it and coffee and cake and all I can say is <sighs> drop all your food before plan to get to uh, Dalston to the um, cob shop I don't remember the proper name of it now and then push on the last four miles to Carlisle as you can see now we're out of the countryside and we're into the industrial bit now and uh, it is 11.45 and we are pushing on Thursday for a finish by this afternoon and we'll see what uh, transport we can get back to um, Saints. Thank you.